That was when the 28-year-old Swede, real name Felix Gelberg, mounted a challenge to Kumar's Bollywood music label T-Series to retain his status as the YouTuber with the most subscribers. I am really not bothered about this race. I don't even know why PewDiePie is taking this so seriously. He's getting his people to push him, promote him. We are not competing with him, Kumar told me recently. Pudiabi, who is the world's highest paid YouTube star, posts video game commentaries and vlogs on his 8-year-old channel. He has courted controversy by releasing videos containing Nazi references or anti-Semitic imagery and apologized for using a racist slur during a video live stream. T-Series is a 35-year-old Mumbai-based music label and film production company. Some 15% of the firm's revenues of $100 million come from its YouTube channel, which is run by 13 people out of the firm's seven-story headquarters in the heart of Mumbai's entertainment district. Both Pudia B and T-Series have more than 75 million subscribers each on YouTube. That's more than double the followers Ed Sheeran and Taylor Swift have on the video sharing platform, which has nearly 2 billion monthly users worldwide. Pudiapi is currently gaining on average more than 220,000 new subscribers per day, while T-Series gets on average about 178,000 a day, according to website Social Blade. Fans of Pudiapi have hacked tens of thousands of printers to print out messages in posters urging people to subscribe to him. Reports say they also hacked the Wall Street Journal with a note that the newspaper would be sponsoring Pudiabi in an attempt to be T-Series in the race for subscribers.